Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a chart that has conditional formatting or highlighting on the category axis. So for example, let's say that we wanted to create a chart that has monthly sales and for our category axis, our x-axis down here, whenever it goes below a certain target or threshold, we want to highlight that red. So if I go ahead and press the F9 key, basically I have uh, this particular cell this cell is a random function, so it's a random number generator here. So if I press the F9 key to recalculate that, you will notice now that the, datas have, the data has changed here. Uh, and for the month of February, it's below target. Now the target, uh, I had arbitrarily set this at uh, 60. So it's below 60. If it's below 60, we get a red. If it's 60 or above, then it, everything is green. So if I press the F9 key again, you notice if I cycle it through a couple of times, it changes the target quantities here, or changes the quantity here, and then the calculations here will figure if it's below target or above at target or above target. So you notice here January and April now are below target. So let me show you how we can create this type of a chart. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy. Uh, actually, I'll just copy this. Control C to copy and put it onto another sheet here. I've already got the headers here. Oh, I've already got this here. So let me go ahead and go with the quantity then. So a quantity, I'm just going to create a random number. And to create random numbers, you use the rand between function. Uh, actually, there's two functions here. This rand function creates a random number between 0 and 1. This rand between function creates a number between your choosing. So I'm going to choose between 50 and 150. All right. And I'll go ahead and press Control Enter to stay in that cell, and go ahead and double click the fill handle down here to copy that function or that formula down. Double click it, and it copies it down. So if I press the F9 key a couple of times, you'll notice now the number changes. So for this column that indicates the the red, these are numbers that are below target. I'm going to put an if statement. So it's going to be equal if, and I'll go ahead and tab to start out the parentheses, I'll say if this number is below uh, a threshold, let's say that we say if it's below, now we had from 50 to 150, so let's say if, it, if it's below uh, 85. If that number is below 85, then I want the number to be zero, right? If not, then I was use not applicable. So basically what this does is, so later on when a chart is created off this number, it's either going to be a zero, which on the x-axis is at the very bottom, or NA, which basically it doesn't draw out anything. So if I go ahead and close the parentheses here, press Control Enter to stay within the cell, you'll notice that it's NA because that is above the target of 85. I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill handle to bring it down, and you see we have our calculation brought down. So for green, it's going to be a very similar uh, combination of functions. So I'll put if. Now I'm going to say if this number is greater than or equal to 85, so this is above the target or above the threshold, then it's going to be 0. Otherwise, it's going to be NA. Same thing. So basically, the only thing the difference is greater than or less than uh, and uh, greater than or equal to or less than. So I'll go ahead and press Control Enter to stay in that cell. You'll notice now the for each column, the red is either going to be is really either going to be NA or the green is either going to be zero. And if it's below, and that's above target. If it's below target, it'll be swapped around. This will be zero, and D would be NA. So let me go ahead and double click the fill handle here to bring it down. And you notice now we have kind of or corresponding uh, data for each of this, the red and the green column. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and insert a chart. So I can click anywhere within the table here and go into insert and insert a column chart. So I'm just going to insert a 2D column chart here. And let me move this over. I don't need this legend, so I'm going to click that and just press delete. It makes it a little bit bigger. I'm, I'm going to remove these grid lines too and click that and press delete. Now what we want to do is we want to plot out the the red and green as a line chart. Right now, right now it's everything is a column chart. But what we want to do is we want to create line charts out of these two columns, uh, column C and column D. So as I mentioned before, the data is either going to be non-applicable or zero. So basically it will be either not there or the data is going to be right at this very first line here. What we want to do is let's go ahead and work on the red series first. So I'm going to go under, I'm going to click on the chart. We have our chart tools contextual icon. Go under layout. 
And under the current selection, it makes it easier to select it because you can't really find uh, the data here in column C and D. I'm going to go under current selection and under the series here, this is what I'm going to select. Now it's kind of selected here. You can't really see it, but it's selected it since we have our selection here. And what I want to do is I want to turn that into a line chart. So I'm going to go under design and change chart type and change it into a line chart. I'm going to click OK. And you notice now you see a line here. And what I want to do after that is I want to do this for the green too. So I'm going to layout, go to chart area, go under series green, and then turn that into a line chart. And then go back to design and then change chart type and also turn that into a line chart. So now you notice there's there's both line charts. If I go back here and go into chart area, we have our series red and green, which got turned into a line chart. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to turn these blue, since I have my red and green, I'm going to turn these, give this a muted color and make that gray. So I'm going to go and change the color here of the columns. Let me select them and go under, uh, let's see, I think under format, and I can change the shape fill. I can make that a gray. So let's just make this kind of a gray here, gray with white background. So that's fine. So we still have our, our green line here and the red line is behind it. And what I want to do now is also I want to kind of remove uh, this axis label. So I want to remove these these tick marks, these these little, little dashes here, and remove the labels here, January, February, March, April, because what we're going to do is we're going to use the labels that are coming from the line charts of the red and green for the labels down here. So I'm going to right, select that axis, right click it, go to Format Axis, and then where it says Major Tick Mark, I'm going to go ahead and just select None. So you see now they're disappeared. Under the axis labels, I'm going to go ahead and select None. And now you've noticed that the access labels have disappeared there. So after that, I'm going to click Close and select my chart and go back in the chart and go to Layout and select. Let's go ahead and select the red first. So we're going to select the red here. And now it's selected. We see it's selected for February, March. You can see that we have zeros here for February, March, uh, May, and June, May and June right here. So there are about six of them. So what I need to do now is I want to go under the data labels and I'm going to put the data labels below. So I've put those below there. And you see now the data labels are below. They're all zeros. And they correspond with the zeros here. Now what I want to do is I want to change those data labels. So I'll go to data labels and click more data label options. So we have the values checked here. These are basically there. What I want is I want the category name. So if I click on the category name, you'll notice that it show up now. The months show up now. And I want to go ahead and unselect value so that doesn't show up anymore. So after I click close, you see that they show up here. Uh, one more thing I probably want to do is I want to change uh, the label format here. So I want to change that to red. So I can go under home, go under the, the font group here and change that to red and might as well just bold it a little bit. So I have red. So there goes my labels for that. Now I can do the same thing for the green one. So I can go and click on the chart, go under layout, select my green series. So we have our red series and then our red la labels that we just created. Now we're going to go into the green series. Now that's selected over here. What I want to do is I want to add data labels, right? I want to add them below. And they added the zeros there. So I want to change those data labels from values to the category. So I'll deselect the value and select the category name. Uh, click OK. And now that's all shown up there. What I want to do now is I want to make that green color. So I'll go ahead and click the font color as green and maybe bold that too. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of that line color. So I want to make that the line color at the bottom. You see there's you may see it a little bit. It's a little bit green here. So I want to go ahead and remove the line color. Select in the chart, go under layout, and go ahead and select the series. So I select the red series, and that's selected. Now I'll go into format and go with the shape fill I'm gonna go ahead and make that no fill uh, just in case there's a line outline on that on that line go ahead and just make no outline and that should be gone for the red uh, the green one I'm gonna go ahead and make that one disappear you can see that's still there a little bit I'm going to select the chart here go into layout whoops actually I can go into format and select the current selection here so I can go in there go to the green series and go ahead and click on the shape fill no fill and then shape outline no outline so now you notice that the colors are gone the green colors and the red colors are gone I should have did the green colors first so you can see it disappear I actually did the red colors first and that was in the background but when you do both they both disappear off here next thing you want to do is probably add a chart title 
I'm going to layout, go into chart title, and uh, a title above the chart. I'll just call this monthly sales, and then press enter. And then the it's probably a little low the 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 labels here, so I'm gonna or the pseudo labels here, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the chart up a little bit. Let me go ahead and move it up. When I, once I select into the plot area of the chart, I can move it up here since we've got a little handles here. So I can move that up. Maybe move the, the chart a little bit wider. Uh, move this up a little bit again. You can see now we've got our chart with the conditional formatting or the conditional highlighting. That's probably a better word. The con conditional highlighting on the axis labels. So if I go ahead and press the F9 key, it will recalculate the values in this function here. So if I press F9, you'll see now that it changes and the conditional highlighting would change for each of the columns that are uh, below below and above target. And so our target again was uh, 85. So you might want to mention maybe probably the target of 85 here. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe I'll do it in lowercase. Uh, target equals 85. So maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe make that a little bit smaller in size. So at least you know our target is 85. Anything that's below target is here in March and April. So if I press the F9 key again, you'll notice now that my targets, the ones that are below target, will show up in red, like in this example here, these four months, February, May, October, and November, and the rest of them are in green, above target, at or above target. So that's how you create uh, conditional highlighting on the axes for a chart. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.